subcutaneous butterfly insertion and removal procedures. For this demonstration, I will be using the BD Safety T Intima 24 gauge single port subcutaneous indwelling device. I will also be demonstrating medication administration. However, you can use this type of butterfly for hypodermoclysis as well. So let's get started. Firstly, gather your supplies and ensure you have a clean surface to put them on. You will need a transparent, semi-permeable dressing such as Tegaderm. Two dressings are displayed here. Several alcohol wipes. A microclave clear connector. The Safety T Intima Subcutaneous Butterfly. Your prepared injection plus 0.21 mils for priming the subcutaneous butterfly line. So this is the Safety T Intima subcutaneous butterfly. Remove the butterfly from the package. Rotate the safety barrel to loosen the needle. You do want to ensure that the bevel is up when you insert the butterfly. The pebbled side of the butterfly wings will be going against the client's skin. So you are now ready to insert the butterfly. Ensure that you have your prepared medication, the microclave connector, the butterfly, the dressing, and alcohol wipes. When you have determined the best location for the subcutaneous butterfly, ensure that you give the area a good clean with alcohol and allow to dry. While the alcohol is drying, ensure that you do some hand hygiene and don some gloves. You can start by removing the backing to the dressing. With your sub -Q butterfly, ensure that the bevel is up. Remember that the pebbled wings will be going against the client's skin. At a 30 to 45 degree angle, insert the needle firmly through the skin. Secure the catheter without touching the insertion site until the dressing is applied. Ensure that you can see the insertion site through the window of the tegaderm. You can now remove the guide wire. Apply some gentle pressure at the insertion site and gently and slowly pull the guide wire out of the butterfly. The needle ends up in the safety barrel. You can remove the bung from the butterfly and apply the microclave clear connector. Remember, Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So turn this to the right to secure to the butterfly. You can now give the prepared medication. Clean the end of the microclave connector with an alcohol wipe and allow to dry. Remove the needle from the syringe and screw the syringe directly onto the microclave connector. This is a needless system. The first 0.21 mils will prime the line and you will see the medication make its way through the butterfly. There can be some discomfort when you are injecting medication, so ensure that you inject slowly. 
If you do notice any bleeding, leaking or a bleb forms at the insertion site, you will need to stop, remove the system and start again. When you have administered the medication, you can remove the syringe. You've probably noticed that I have removed the clamp from the subcutaneous line. Remove the rest of the backing from the dressing and use the tape provided on the dressing to secure the line. On the other piece of tape provided on the dressing, write down the medication, the concentration and the date of insertion and apply this to the side of the dressing. You can now tidy up, discard of any sharps appropriately and ensure that your client is safe and comfortable. You will also need to document. So subcutaneous butterfly removal. For this, you will need gloves, tape, and gauze. Gently remove the dressing by stretching the tegaderm. As you can see, gloves can be problematic, but try to remove the tip of the butterfly cleanly from the insertion site, and then check the tip to ensure that it's intact. Apply gauze, tape and pressure to the insertion site. Remember to remove this dressing later. Ensure that your client is safe and comfortable and document as necessary. I hope that you found this instructional video helpful on the insertion and removal of subcutaneous butterflies. Please refer to the BD medical product information and the interior health instructions for use as shown here. Thank you for watching my video.